Most people meet Bayes' theorem in math class, but the seed of it may have started on a simple table. Picture this, you toss a ball onto a square table. You don't look at where it lands. Now you throw more balls and only record whether each one lands to the left or the right of that first hidden spot. From those left-right results, you slowly learn where the first ball probably is. That's the core idea Thomas Bayes used in the 1700s. Start with a fair guess, then update it as evidence comes in. Today we call that a prior and a posterior. Back then it was just a clever way to learn from limited clues. Here's the weird part. People often call it a billiard table story. In Bayes' actual essay, it's just a table with a ball tossed at random. No cues, no pool hall. Later, writers added the billiards flavor, and recent historians dug into Bayes' life and even point to a real table setting in Tunbridge Wells that could have inspired the example. So the picture of balls and a table isn't just a cute classroom trick. It might be close to how Bayes himself thought. So the next time you hear Bayes, think less magic formula and more humble experiment. Make a guess, see new evidence, update your belief, repeat. That's not only good math, that's good thinking. If you had to guess, do you like the simple, table and ball origin story, or do you prefer the billiards legend? Tell me which one and why.